Welcome to Dental Academy USA. My name is Leo Kirish, and if you're here, you want to become a dentist in the United States, and you are at the right place because I am sharing a lot of very, very useful information for your application. And today, uh, I always try to bring common questions that I hear from people. Today is going to be a very specific one related to your exams, and we're going to hear the question right after this. All right, you know that you have to take a few exams when you're applying to dental school or grad program, either one of them. Many, many times you're gonna have to take the TOEFL exam and the board, the Integrated National Dental Board exam. Even though not all programs require the board, I'm gonna make this assessment here in this suggestion based on the fact that several do require, and if you're taking both exams, you're you can take both at the same time, but I don't recommend that. But usually you have to pick one to take first. So you focus your efforts on that exam first. So people come to me and they're like, hey Leo, I'm planning to take the exams. Which one should I take first? Should I take the board exam or the TOEFL? Or should I take the TOEFL first, then the board, vice versa, whatever. Whatever option you decide to do. Well, you gotta think about the application logistics as a whole. The TOEFL exam has an expiration date of two years. Two years of expiration date. The board does not have an expiration date. Once you pass, you pass. However, there are these conversations going on about few programs putting a time limit restriction on the board. But for what is worth, the board is an exam from the American Dental Association and does not have an expiration date, okay? So whenever you are planning to take your exams, you should focus on the board first, all right? And then the TOEFL exam. Because if you take the TOEFL exam and by any chance you do not pass the boards, and by any chance, you lose that cycle of application, miss, you miss that window of opportunity to apply. Now you can only apply next year, you know, your TOEFL exam may expire because some people take the TOEFL exam a little bit too soon. And then by the time they're applying, it's really close to the deadline. And if they don't get into that cycle, they're gonna have to retake the TOEFL the following year. So my general rule, my general recommendation is for you to take the board exam first, clear that exam, especially because it is pass fail, clear that exam, and then once that's clear, you go to the TOEFL. And then you get a high grade in the TOEFL exam, and then you apply to your programs. So in case you fail on your first board attempt, which may happen, hopefully not, hopefully this won't happen, but it may happen, but in case you fail your first attempt to take the board, you take the board again before you take the TOEFL, okay? That's my rule of thumb. Is this the only way to do it? No, you can do whatever way you prefer. It doesn't really matter to me. But from a logistic standpoint, it makes more sense to follow this idea. But I do know people that took the TOEFL first, you know, at the end of the day, it's your call, it's your choice. You know, I'm just trying to save you some money and some headaches. So, board first, TOEFL later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click down below, share, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Even if you didn't like the video, still click on the like button. And I'm gonna see you guys here at Dental Academy USA in the next video.